Hi there. And as you can see here, another video. And you know, I thought this, I, th I wanted to use this picture. This is a, a new picture. You know, um, I, th I just wanted to use this picture because this picture doesn't represent anything in particular that I want to say. This picture is just really, you know, it's in my room, my own bedroom and it's all decorations and things that I've done so it's really me it's really my awareness this is a really a picture of my awareness because before my awakening I didn't have lights in my room I didn't care about things like that. it you know would have looked nothing like this and um you know, in these videos, you know, when I'm talking about my awakening, it is very healing for me because it is, it is a, you know, it's a great experience. I've went, I've been going through, but it's very, of, very traumatic as well. Um, and it's, and it's a way because you've, you've let go of, so much stuff. And um, and that's why you should speak because when you speak openly, this is what these people. This is what mental health experts say about depression. They say that the problem is not enough people that really suffer from depression speak. They just keep it, you know, bottled up. They bottle it up. They bottle it all up, so... But yeah, that's why it's important to speak. And um, and this is this is ultimately what's going on, I mean... I was very critical of soldiers in the past and, and because I always said that we weren't free. That's what I always said. I, I found it ridiculous that we're buying a red poppy here and supporting people that aren't, that, that you're dying for nothing. And I always said that. And look what's happened. Look what's happened. Our freedoms have been taken away. So we're never free in the first place. And it's disrespectful what the system's done. People actually says to me that they thought that what I was saying was disrespectful to soldiers. Well, this is a lot more disrespectful to soldiers. What's going on right now? Out of respect, you know, what they're like, try to censor people on the internet. Try to stop David Icke from speaking. Um, people that say 5G is to do with coronavirus, they should all be allowed to say these things out of respect for those that did die and did die because they felt they were doing it for their country's freedom and other people's freedom after that. And But I said it. I said that we weren't free. I said it for, you know, this is why I used I when it, when it was time, when, it's, when it's, it was always time to get the red poppies, I always felt I was in a crazy world and all these people weren't aware of what's going on. And now it's in our faces what's going on. And the reason it's in our faces is because the system can't get to its end goal whilst lying to us now. So it's had to be exposed, right? At some point in things, sometimes a sacrifice has to be made. And the sacrifice, the system sacrifice is ex exposing themselves and us seeing what they really are. And now we're seeing the demonic, the darkness of the real system and that it was never this freedom society. It was always a case of tricking you and tricking you and keeping you suppressed. And you know what's happened. And that's what's happened. That's why. And that's why they've they've had to expose themselves because they're trying to get to their end goal. And their end goal is Agenda 2030, which is really to try and well, is connecting human to artificial intelligence. This is why. People all over the planet have had these unexpected spiritual awakenings. I mean, after I started going through this awakening, I didn't know what was happening. I found out that in all different countries, people are going through awakenings. And the reason this is, is because it's meant to happen. It's all to do with God's plan. You know, the, the demonic side um, is trying to do its thing and therefore God is doing his or her thing. 
But the other thing is that it's all a movie. And the whole point of this movie, this like movie that we're in, is for good to prevail over evil. And so then we look back and we understand why we had to go through the things that we went through and the lack of understanding that we went through because through darkness comes light. And that's that's if if there's that's the point to it all. Right? So that we look back one day and we're like, oh we had to go through this, we had to have that. Oh I, we understand now. You see, and that's all reality is once you have that awakening, what what is it, what is an awakening? Basically, you've you're you're now you've now been activated by God, and God is just infinite love. And because you've been activated, you, this is what happens. Um, this is what heaven is, and you've been activated, and now you know what you are in that spiritual awakening. And anyone can do it. It's just the the awakening happens when you've decided that the outward world is just to hurt you. And it's an illusion. And then you you wake up, um, and that's it. But it's all um, like a movie, like a like a script, and um, and that's what you realise. You realise that everything is returning now in this global awakening to love. And this is why we're seeing a reaction. This is you know people when you see Bill Gates, he's in. A, he is like a front runner for this divine, this not the divine, for this demonic force, and that's what he is. Um, and you know that's what this this COVID nineteen stuff is. That's what all this stuff is about. It's a reaction from this demonic force. Um, you know, and if you if you ask for some proof, well, there is so many documents and. And people out there who have had so many experiences of... Some people think there's only humans that exist and that is so ignorant when you're in the middle of infinity, basically. <laughs> That's what you are. Earth is basically... Right here is... And our planet is just the middle of nowhere in space. So, you know what I mean? There's, good, there's infinity of what can exist. So, yes, and a demon... A demon is a non-human entity that has a different and its own agenda right and and demons feed off of fear that's what they do and um but it's only in the movie again it's all part of the script i when you as you're awakening you realize it's all a, a script it's not real it's actually not really not really happening it's just part of the movie and the whole point of evil or bad because you can't understand the good until you have the bad right you wouldn't see the, the stars at night glowing so much unless or Elon Musk satellites whatever way you want to look at it unless there was dark so you see the things clearly through the both elements because they complement each other like this room you know on this in this picture on here there's all different lights but it's because it's light and shade. It's it's lights mixed in with darkness and mixed in with shades of different things. And that's what makes it look really good. And that is how it is. And um and this reality certainly is that. And all these different different kind of things going on, these different shades work with each other, but it's the same thing, you see. It's the same God, it's the everything is the same thing. It's like God, um, you know, you've got the Trinity, the three, the, the, the triangle, the, um, which is the God, is the, is the life, is the lesson, but they're all the same thing, experiencing their, um, themselves, but in different ways. It's the same thing. And that's, what's ha that's what people are getting now in this, this global awakening. Is these these truths about things like that about what we are, and as we're moving forward, we're going to get to a situation where we look back and we're like, oh, we under I understand now how we had to go through this, had to go through that, because it's all about understanding things. The thing that activates your DNA the most is understanding. 
and through understanding comes clarity. And then you're like, you know, you know the re and this this is what evolves you. This is what activates your own DNA through this understanding on things. And you only have that through having light and shade. If you didn't, you couldn't learn. And that's what's going on. So it's not nothing's really real as such. It's just real to you in the movie, in the in in the allude in the dream. You know, but that's what that's what happens once you start to go through that awakening process. You start to your perceptions now changing. Now my experience was completely unexpected. I had an unexpected spiritual awakening, and as I've been going through it, what's happening is once you have that big awakening, you're now opened up to source which is call it heaven call it god and you're now open now to this real self that, that you are which isn't the labels which isn't the the rubbish that you get told that you are but the real infinite love self and this is why i'm able to see what's going on i'm able to see that it's all a movie and the movie is is you know, you've got to have the bad in a movie and so the, the, the good comes at the end. And that's how reality is. You, you need to have the evil or the dark in order to understand, in order to make the choice, the decision to go right. You need both ways. But it's all part of the, it's, it's all part of reality. You have to have that, it's, it's duality. But the truth is that the, that the two is one, the dual is one. And that's and all this kind of information and, and understanding of this of how reality works, people are, you know, it's it's almost like a swarm of oneness is, is going around the whole planet, a swarm of love and oneness. And that's why this demonic forces are reacting with their vaccines and their COVID nineteen and all this different stuff, because of the global awakening, because it's like imagine having a swarm of honeybees around you. There's you there you know, the system is um getting less and less now like there's a guy that i watch on youtube and he was an installer for 5g and he quit his job and that's what's going to happen more and more and as this happens more and more the more power goes towards the awakening side and less power towards the the demonic side and that's what's happening with this global awakening that's what's going on um where everything is returning to that but you see, it's all a movie. It's all a dream. But you know, the dream is, is basically an orchestrated movie. And it's orchestrated so that you, you have to have the bad to understand, to, to come to the good. And with this comes, right, like I've said all along in this video, it comes great understanding and awareness of why that had to happen for you to lead to this. It's all synchronistic, it's all perfect. And as your understanding is, is growing more and more, you're, you're evolving with your DNA, with your awareness to your real state, which is just absolute love. But you only come to that absolute love, it's, only, it's the understanding of things that leads to that. So it means that everything is, has happened in the way that it's happened so that we understand things and have clarity and grow as a whole, as a planet. So that is the point of everything, the way it has been in the past and the way things are, so that we grow and evolve as one. So it means that everything is perfect. Everything is actually perfect. And there's no, um, you know, it's, it's all part of the movie, it's all part of the dream because the whole point of life is to develop. But the other thing is that we're, we're going there, we're developing there, but it's already been also. We're going there, but, we're, but we've already been there. Because if you're dealing with infinity, that means that everything's been tried and tested infinitely. That, that's why this moment is perfect, because it's already happened an infinite number of times. 
and I'm just going to leave it there. And if you're watching, you're meant to watch it. Everything falls to divine order and divine timing. Thank you for watching. Thank you.